2023 was one of the biggest years for Prodigy in terms of content, with over 60 updates so with tons of stuff added to the game. And with the year coming to a close, we are going to be looking at every single update Prodigy has released this year. The first update was on January 2nd, which was the release of Pirate Isle. On January 9th, the annual Festival Winterfest came out, added the Holly Hair Clip, Gift Box Buddy, Tortoise, and Glyshell. Along with this, Howard Cornelius also got a, a sprite remodel. On January 15th, the Winter Ultimate Member Box came out, and this gave you Black Ice Arctic Claw, which evolved into Black Ice Frostfang, and the Black Ice Armor. On January 28th, we got a new pet capture animation, and on January 31st, we got the February Member Box. This contained the new items Pizza Hat and Pizza Oven. On February 1st, Buzz Robos was released, and on February 10th, the Epic Subspace was removed. The Battle Update released to some currently existing Prodigy accounts, I didn't include this earlier in the video because technically the beta was found on January or er, on December 26th of 2022, so it technically doesn't fall into 2023. And also new battle backgrounds were added. On February 28th, we got the March member box, which contained the new items the Buzzra sweater and the Buzzra hat. On March 1st, we got Hydroid, and on March 15th, the pet card beta was discovered. On March 22nd, a new battle end screen was added, and on March 24th, Springfest came out, and this contained Flowerworks, the Flower Doublet, Quill and Scroll, and Clove Rat, which evolved into Burr Meadow. On March 30th, the Icebird Wand was released as a teacher reward, and the new Wizard Level Up animation was discovered. On March 31st, the April Member Box came out containing the Sky Staff and Hot Air Balloon Buddy. The next day, Luna came out, and on April 3rd, pet cards were fully released. On April 9th, a new quest update was added, and this changed the intro in Firefly Forest. On April 17th, some pets were updated to HD, and on April 18th, the Spring Ultimate Member Box came out, which contained the Deep Sea Funkeel and its evolvements, along with the Deep Sea Porthole. Although this wasn't an update, it was confirmed on April 21st that Harmony Island and the Arena weren't coming back. On April 24th, the Buddy Slimy was released as a teacher reward. On April 30th, a new beta update came out which made it so that some previously unobtainable pets were made obtainable. And the May member box was released containing the Unicorn Hat and Unicorn Onesie. On May 1st, Splash and Spark was released. And on May 3rd, pets were given stats. On May 10th, boots were made visible on your wizard when you were wearing them. Along with the boots getting new icons and the drop being released to all players. On May 18th, Crystal Caverns returned after being gone since around February. And on May 25th, the Blue Jay was added as a teacher reward. On May 26th, there was an update to the store, which made the rarities on your items look different. And on May 31st, the June member box was released, which contained the new items Middens and the Pet House. On June 1st, the first Mythic Club to ever be re-released was released, being Mag Mayhem. And the next day, the Puppet Master was reskinned, and he can now block off some parts of the map when you're doing the quests. On June 8th, more was added to the quests, with Florian appearing in Firefly Forest, along with the Puppet Master. On June 15th, the quest intros update came out, and this give, gave you an intro to every single island that you were going to. On tw June 26th, the gear stats update came out along with some new spells. On June 30th, the July member box came out which contained the emoji buddy and the emoji banner. On July 1st, Arcturion was re-released. And on July 10th, the new rewards were added to Gerald, which were the Ladybug, Burn Scale Armor, Mythical Plants, and Magic Fungus. On July 15th, the Summer Ultimate Member Box came out, and this contained Member Mimic and the Rescue Dog, which is a buddy. 
On July 18th, the mini boss update was released as a beta update, and on July 19th, you can now level up pets with gold. On July 26th, the biggest update of the year by far, you can now battle the Puppet Master and get his armor. On July 31st, the August member box came out which contained the school bus and school cubby. On August 31st, Shiver and Scorch was re-released, and tons of items were added to the shops around the world. On August 14th, Summerfest came out, and the new items for it were the Picnic, Sea Slug, Jellish, and that would eventually evolve into Jebrella. On August 20th, it was discovered that you can now encounter the Puppet Master in different areas, and he would make you battle Pippet along with two other pets. On August 30th, September member box was released, and this contained the Sturgeon and Scarecrow. On September 1st, Murahawk was added to the game, and on September 6th, there was a new reorganization of the backpack, along with the stats being visible for your items in the backpack. Also on this day, the merchants were reskinned. On September 23rd, the Blaze Buddy was added as a teacher reward, and on September 30th, the October member box was released, which contained the Mothbud and Spooky Fireplace. On October 1st, Griff Topus was added to the game, and so was Pumpkin Fest, containing the Cauldron, Werebat, and Plushkin, which would evolve into Scarecrow. Also, Hollow Jack was added as the boss that you could battle. On October 15th, the update where you could catch previously unobtainable pets was released to pre-existing accounts in beta, and on October 16th, the Fall Ultimate Member Box was released, which contained Bone Terramite, Bone Pterosaur, and the Haunted Painting. October 19th, there was an update to PvP, which made it so that in PvP, everybody would be on level 50, including your pets. On October 31st, the November member box came out, which contained Bud the Turkey and the Table of Thankfulness. On November 1st, Shimmer Storm was added to the game, and on November 30th, the December member box came out, which contained the Ice Tooth Buddy and the Polar Fridge. On December 1st, Polar Tide was released, and on December 6th, the Dual Stadium Beta was released along with another intro update, which this time made it so that you would battle a wizard in the academy, along with a new animation when you were choosing which pet you wanted to choose as your starter. And on December 18th, the Treasure Track beta was released, and the final update of the year was the 31st, when the January 2024 member box will be released, and will contain the Lucky Dragon and the Origami Star Crane. But yeah, that was every single update released in 2023. Some of these dates aren't 100% accurate, due to the fact that they could have been added to the game earlier, just weren't discovered by active social media people uh, that do Prodigy until a few days later. Also, it is possible that I forgot some updates. If I did, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Big thank you to Prodigy Math Game Player for letting me use some of the clips from his videos in this one, and thank you guys for making this a great year. The amount of growth we experienced is insane. But yeah, that is going to go ahead and end up the video. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. We're trying to hit 10,000 by the end of next year. Also, if you watch this far, please consider liking. And yeah, bye.